Mr. Perkins was referred here for a transplant. Uh, he had in-stage renal disease, which means he required either dialysis therapy or a tr functioning transplant to sustain life. And he underwent a kidney transplant here in November. Um, Mr. Perkins' match with his donor was unusually good, uh, but that shouldn't dissuade people uh, from pursuing a living unrelated kidney transplant. Uh, realistically, the degree of matching is not as important as getting a good kidney. To keep his kidney functioning, he's going to have to take uh, anti-rejection medications for the rest of his life. And those have side effects that need to be monitored. Uh, and so he, right now he requires blood work about every uh, two weeks, routine blood work, and then he is seen in our office about every four to six weeks. He himself is monitoring his weight, his blood pressure, and so forth at home and, and reporting that to us. And then we see him in the office about every four to six weeks right now. Uh, once he gets stable a year or two out, we'll just see him about twice a year. We follow these patients very carefully, indefinitely. We have 2,000 transplant patients over the last 30 years who we still follow. Uh, and so it's not just getting an operation and, and getting you out the door with a kidney that's working. It's really keeping your kidney working for 15, 20, 25, 30 years that we're really looking forward to.